What's up guys, I Pokemon here. I was holding off making this video, I honestly thought more would be announced, but nothing has been. Now I'm going to talk about Ghost of the Past, I don't want it to be a long video, but I'll just give you my opinions on it, okay? Is it going to be the best set of the year? We don't know yet, we don't know. Dark Magician Girl was revealed, was leaked, you know, and then as soon as the leak happened everyone was like oh i need to buy this i need to buy this the ghost dark magician girl oh my god you know we've got four officially revealed ghost rares which is black master soldier super soldier um sorry super soldier so black luster soldier soldier of chaos that's sorry that's the one it's called um dark magician blue eyes alternative dragon What's the last one? Firewall, that's it, Firewall Dragon. Five, uh, four have been revealed. But the thing is, there were two leaks. Winder, which could have been fake, and Dark Magician, which could have been fake. Interesting, it's just interesting. Now, I ordered a couple of cases well before anything was announced. You know, all we knew was Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon at that point. Um, but then I ordered more after Dark Magician Girl was leaked. Okay. Now, hmm. So I'm, I'm quite aware. I'm, I'm recording in a car, but it's nice and quite comfortable here. It's really good. It's a really cool setup. Like, I just rest it around my speedometer, I suppose. We say it more speed reading meter, speedometer. Whatever, speed wheel. I don't, what the hell is it called? Anyway. What if you are unable to get the product? Now, the product is already double retail price everywhere, okay? Uh, if you're not able to buy the product at retail, or even you don't want to spend 50% more, don't panic. Honestly, think, don't panic. Just think about how much product of the set is going to be opened. Uh, some people will probably set on it, sure. But there are other sets coming out which I feel have great potential but again you're just taking a blind gamble just like genesis impact is a blind gamble um i'm not going to invest in asian guardians but that's because i've got other things a bit more important than Yu Gi Oh right now but i will hopefully be investing a bit in king's court because obviously that comes out in june in june we have all those god products coming out we've got god sleeves god um deck boxes god mats king's court is a predominantly a god set what if the gods come out in Collector Rare, how sick would that be? Imagine Exodia even in Collector Rare, you know, just in any sort of Collector's Rare. Anyway, what do I think of a set? Okay, okay, I like, I'm a huge fan of all foil sets. I really think they're just fantastic. There's value in bulk foils, do not forget that, and it's quite easy to ship bulk foils. Anyway, it's just my opinion on Ghost of the Past. Yay or nay? Definitely yay if you if you were able to get it early, if you were able to get hold of it early. The thing is, I mean, in terms of pre-ordering, it sets out in less than a month, or just over, about a month now. It's soon. It's soon, right? There's obviously going to be really cool regular reprints, um, reprints of money cards in it, like, as they've already announced, a Raid Raptor um, tribute Lenius. There's going to be a bunch of other ones, but I only really bought into it because it's a, um, a whole foil set. I like foil sets, as I said. Anyway, hopefully the first banger of 2021. Um, thanks guys for watching I Pokemon right here, and I will see you guys later. My opinion on Ghosts of the Past. If you've missed it, don't worry. I honestly think there's so much cool sets coming out this year. Um, so you could just save it for something else. And what if the last ghost rare officially revealed by Konami is not Dark Magician Girl? Holy shit.